Did you know you can shoot weapons at twice the speed? Or get armor charges that last forever? Or get max reputation by standing still? Well, you can, and here are 36 weird yet useful tricks in Destiny 2. I'm Marshix, and you can shoot rocket launchers faster than you think. After shooting a rocket, there's a short delay before you start reloading. But if you actually press the reload button right after shooting it, you'll start reloading immediately, making it shoot twice as fast, which significantly increases the DPS of all rockets. This trick also works with every other weapon in the game, but it's most noticeable on rocket launchers and grenade launchers. Grapple melees deal a ton of damage, and this trick will make them deal even more. If you have a shotgun with 1-2 punch, you're able to grapple, cancel your grapple by swapping weapons, then immediately shoot and punch. This will allow you to get that massive 100% damage buff from 1-2 punch, and double the damage of your already powerful melee. Your welcome banner of war titans! You can only hold a certain amount of masterwork materials until you reach a cap. If you're full on these materials, you can't earn any more. But what you can do is spend them to upgrade gear that you don't care about and just stick it in the vault. Then, when you eventually need materials again, you can dismantle that gear to get the materials back. You only get about two thirds of what you put in, so it's not amazing, but this trick is useful when it's double nightfall drops and you have tons of materials flooding your inventory. You can attack twice as fast with glaives. All you have to do is hold down the block button and then spam your melee. As you can see, this will make it attack significantly faster, even when you have no charge. Did you know that you can store your armor charges and save them for the perfect time? All you have to have is two pieces of gear, one with a yellow armor charge mod that you're not going to use, and another with the blue armor mods that have a timer that you do want to use, aka weapon surges. So what you can do is wear a class item with a finisher mod and just never finish anything, then wear normal boots with no blue mods to get and store your armor charges, then when it comes time for DPS, just swap your legs and the timer will start, giving you the maximum timer for your weapon surges and guaranteeing you have the highest damage on the leaderboard. This is not actually true, I cannot be held responsible for you being bad at the game. You can also refresh the timer of armor charges so you never lose them. It's basically the same trick. When the timer gets low, just swap to a different pair of legs that don't have any blue mods on them, and then swap back. You'll notice the timer went back to full. And you can do this over and over to theoretically keep a single armor charge forever. It's a little annoying being that you have to go back and forth between your menu every 15 seconds, but it is possible. You can completely skip reloading. But first, this video is sponsored by Factor. Factor offers chef quality meals that are ready to eat in only two minutes. As you can see by my 8,000 hours in Destiny and my 300 uploads, I'm a very busy man. But thanks to Factor, that's not a problem because their meals don't require any prep time. Just grab it, put it in the microwave, press the number two, then eat it. It's that easy. After that, you just throw it away. No need to clean up a big mess or wash any dishes because there aren't any. Factor's menu rotates weekly and offers a ton of different meal options with over 34 meals and more than 36 add-ons like smoothies, keto shakes, desserts, and more. You pick the exact meals you want in your box, then in less than a week, it'll show up straight to your doorstep. There's no need to go to the grocery store and it's healthier than ordering fast food. Factor also offers wellness shots, small drinks that are packed full of vitamins and antioxidants to keep you healthy. If you sign up right now, you'll get 50% off your first Factor 75 box, and you'll get free wellness shots for life using my link. That's two free wellness shots per order as long as you have an active subscription. Try it now, because you don't want to miss this massive deal. Thank you to Factor for sponsoring this video. Hunters have the Widow Silk aspect, which will create an anchor point whenever you activate your grapple grenade. There's also a fragment called Thread of Ascent that reloads your weapons when you activate your grenade. What this means is that you can create an anchor point literally anywhere, shoot your weapon, grapple to the anchor point and immediately cancel it to reload your weapon without consuming your grenade, shoot your weapon again, and then repeat this cycle until you dump all of your ammo into a boss. Or mess it up and get yourself killed, whichever comes first. You can literally fly in Destiny 2. All you need is catapult lift on a titan, the lion rampant exotic boots, and any sword. Now, you can activate your jump, then as you reach the peak of your jump, let yourself fall for one second, then swing your sword and jump again. Then, continue doing this to fly around the map and get pretty much anywhere in the game, assuming you have enough sword ammo. You can skip the animation for scanning objects with your ghost. When you scan an object, just press the back button on controller three times, or tab on PC three times, 
and it'll cancel the animation and instantly start the scan. If you're ever in desperate need for Glimmer, you can throw on two ghost mods, Bountiful Harvest to earn Glimmer by picking up resources and patrol, and Wombo Detector to see those resources through walls. Then if you equip any sniper rifle and aim down sights, you'll see every resource node in the entire map, so you can run over to each of them and pick them up for tons of Glimmer. You can become invincible using an emote. If you're ever using an emote that makes you move your head, like any of these, you can position your head completely inside a wall. Enemies will not be able to see or target you, meaning you can become invincible and skip certain encounters. The Warsat section of Fallen Saber can be cheesed this way, and so can the Elevator section of Scarlet Keep, this part in Lightblade, and probably more. You can purchase bounties from Orbit. Download the Destiny Companion app on your phone, and on the front page, go to Bounties. Here, you can select your character and grab bounties from any vendor without spending a million years loading into any destination. I played on console the other day. I can confirm it takes one million years to load into the tower. Also, I think I'm a time traveler. The Warlord's Ruined Dungeon has a puzzle that has you shoot these weird spinning things on the walls, but you can literally just skip this by using a finisher on the one enemy that spawns. It doesn't auto-complete the puzzle, but it does give one person an easy line of sight to every spinning thing, so you only really need one competent person on your team. There's a weird interaction between Apotheosis Veil and Relics. If you use a Relic Super, Apotheosis Veil will register this as a normal super and give you unlimited ability energy for 8 seconds. This makes running Relic in certain encounters even stronger than not running Relic. I did this in Master Crota Zen the other day, and I had no problem destroying everything with grenades. I have no doubt that this would be really strong in Vault of Glass, Val the Disciple, and even the Relic Crucible mode, where you get Relic Supers every few seconds. Bungie, please don't nerf this. When you complete a Legend or Master Lost Sector while solo, you have a chance to get an exotic armor piece. These will always drop as whatever type of armor the Lost Sector says. Like this one that says it only drops chest pieces. Well, you can actually change this. If there's ever a fast and easy lost sector available, but not for the armor type you want, you can just fill up your engram inventory, and whenever you get an exotic from that lost sector, it will be sent straight to your postmaster. Then, you can wait a day or three until the active lost sector has the armor you want, and then pick them up from the postmaster to get that day's armor, as you can see by these not being chess pieces. So whenever fast lost sectors like Chamber of Starlight or Skydock come around, you can stock up on tons of exotics and turn them into whatever type you want. Ammo reserve mods allow you to carry more ammo for your weapons, but the trade-off is that you can't run resist mods. Well, if you wear reserve mods and pick up ammo or rally a flag to get full heavy, you can swap chest pieces to one with resist mods and you'll keep your extra ammo with no downside. And you can do a similar trick with weapons. If you put a backup mag on your weapon, you can reload to get more ammo in your first magazine, then swap to a boss spec and keep the larger mag size with the extra damage buff against bosses. You can swap between weapons really fast. This is not edited. All you have to do is activate your grapple grenade, then immediately swap weapons. This is pretty easy to do, and the clip you're watching right now is actually me doing this on controller. This enables hot swapping between shotguns once again for some really high DPS, and it's amazing when paired with Reign of Fire. Reign of Fire is supposed to reload your weapons whenever you Icarus Dash, but it also works with Weave Walk, allowing you to quickly reload all your weapons even when you're running a Strand subclass. And yes, you do still become Radiant with Fusion Rifle kills too. High Ground is an interesting perk that increases your damage whenever you're at a higher elevation than your target. However, you still have to be touching the ground for this to work. But what you can do is throw down a stasis crystal and stand on it, and you can easily get the damage buff anywhere. And this does work against big bosses too, because it only checks if your feet are at a higher elevation than the enemy's feet. I love feet. You can get Devour on any subclass. You can obviously use Buried Bloodline to do this with just a few kills, but you can also do this without needing that impossibly rare exotic. Just get Devour with your Void subclass through either the Feed the Void aspect on Warlock or the Echo of Starvation fragment on Hunter or Titan. Then just swap subclasses and you'll still have Devour. Kills will heal you, give you grenade energy, and extend the duration of Devour. So as long as you keep getting kills, you can keep Devour going. Solar Devour Titan is kinda crazy. You can wear two exotic armor pieces at once. Kinda. This only works with a few specific exotics. 
The first pair is Luna Faction Boots and Phoenix Protocol. If you drop your Well of Radiance while wearing Luna Factions, you can get the extra reload speed and range from that exotic, but you can then swap to Phoenix Protocol to get super energy from every kill inside the well, and you'll keep the reload speed and range from Luna Factions. So it's kind of like having two exotics that buff your well. The other exotics are Celestial Nighthawk and Knucklehead Radar. Nighthawk turns your Golden Gun into one powerful shot, and Knucklehead increases your super damage against enemies with less than 30% health. What you can do is pop your super while wearing Nighthawk, then swap to Knucklehead Radar, and then shoot. This will work best against raid or dungeon bosses where you need to get all the damage you can get. And you can increase the damage of Golden Gun even more. Weapon Surges aren't supposed to increase the damage of Golden Gun, but if you wear one or two Kinetic Weapon Surges on your boots, your Golden Gun will get the damage buff too. It needs to be Kinetic Weapon Surges, and it only works with one or two copies of the mod. If you have three, it will not work. Okay, let's be honest. You made it this far into the video, the least you can do is leave a like down below and comment your favorite weird tricks. And subscribe to my OnlyFans. Did you know that you can get rewards from past season passes? Well, if you played during a season and forgot to grab everything from the season pass, you can head over to this website and transfer it to your account. But it gets even better. Deep Sight Harmonizers are used to create Deep Sight weapons that are needed for crafting, but they're only given out throughout the season pass and you can only hold one at a time. Well, what you can do is leave all your harmonizers in the pass, then wait until the next season comes along and pull them all out to instantly craft any new weapon you want. That's how I got this scatter signal on the first day of Season of the Wish, and I plan to use the same trick to unlock raid weapons in the final shape. Saint 14 will give you weapons whenever you rank up in Trials, but these have set roles, right? Well, these roles change every Friday, so as long as you don't pick these up, you can just leave them there in his inventory and wait until the weapons have the perks you're looking for. Once you level up one character to max power level, you can easily get the other two caught up. All you need to do is transfer your high level weapons to your other character, and then focus your seasonal engrams into armor for that character. Then focus more armor and more armor until it eventually caps out somewhere around the soft cap, probably around 1780 or so. I am not deleting a character to show this off, but trust me, it works. You can get double loot from public events. Step 1. Find a public event. Step 2. Complete the public event fast. Step 3. Fast travel to the same area. Step 4. Help the new team complete the public event fast. Step 5. If you are fast enough, you can do it a third time. This trick is basically useless most of the time, but it helps a lot during events like the Dawning, Festival of the Lost, and Guardian games when you have to complete tons of public events for a meaningless currency. You can fly straight up using rockets. If you aim your rocket launcher straight up and immediately grapple to it, you can ride it all the way to the top of the map. This allows you to skip large sections of jumping puzzles like the ones in Duality, and you can even use it to go out of bounds and get free raid loot as a solo player. That video is linked right here on screen if you're interested. You can also do this with Lumina for horizontal movement, but it is much, much harder to do consistently. There are so many quests and triumphs that require a ton of kills with specific weapons and abilities. But lucky for you, there's a way to get all of these done in a fraction of the time. If you load up the Last Wish raid and make your way to the Wish Wall, you can input this code. This will teleport you to the Shirochi encounter where you can spawn up to 100 Taken Thrall every 1-2 to two minutes. This allows you to quickly level up crafted weapons, complete exotic catalysts, and even complete annoying quests like getting 2000 kills with dawning weapons. I probably should have posted this last week when dawning was around. Oh well. Did you know that you can remove weapons from your loadouts? Grab 3 blue weapons from collections and equip them with the armor and abilities you want in your loadout. Save the loadout, then delete the blue weapons. Now whenever you select the loadout, it won't equip any random weapons, only the ones you already have equipped. You can store a ton of XP and take it into a new season. Complete as many bounties as your quest tab can hold, then just wait until the new season drops and you can turn them all in. A full inventory will give you around 25 levels in the season pass instantly when the season starts, and this will go towards your seasonal power bonus and those sweet precious artifact mods. Gambit really needs an update. Okay, now that Bungie's gone, let's talk about a trick that gives free stats from ornaments or one free stat point, but it's still very useful. If you happen to have the Solstice Rekindled Armor for any of your characters, 
You can equip this ornament to get one extra point of resilience for free. This might not sound like much, but sometimes you're left with 99 resilience, and that one point would make a big difference. You can launch yourself across the map as a titan. What you need to do is kill an enemy and punch them at the same time. Then quickly grapple and jump. This will launch you really fast in the direction of the enemy. So the way this actually works is that you need a shotgun in your hand, aim at the enemy you want to launch off of, leave a little bit of room between the two of you, then shoot and melee, and then immediately grapple and jump. Here are the exact timings that make it work basically every time, and wearing Syntheseps makes it more forgiving. But it's not just Titans that can launch themselves. All classes can skate across the map using Eager Edge Swords. Hunters need a dive ability like Shatter Dive or Ensnaring Slam, and a sword with Eager Edge. Run towards a ledge and use these exact inputs. This will send you flying straight forward at a million miles an hour. Warlocks. You'll need an Eager Edge Sword and Well of Radiance. Stand still and use these exact inputs. This will send you flying straight forward at a million miles an hour. Titans, you'll need an Eager Edge Sword and Ward of Dawn. Stand still and use these exact inputs. This will send you flying straight forward at a million miles an hour. I could go more in depth, but that would probably double the length of the video and no one really wants that. Best thing to do is load into a private mayhem match and play around with it for yourself until you get the hang of it. Or just copy the macro and press one button, up to you. You can turn Glimmer into Gunsmith Reputation. Head over to Collections and pull out a bunch of Legendary weapons. This will cost Glimmer and Legendary Shards, but Legendary Shards are being removed next season so they don't really matter. Once your inventory is full of Legendaries, you can turn right around and delete them all for 7 Gunsmith Reputation each. So if you do this a bunch of times, you can eventually rank up the Gunsmith and get some really valuable items like Ascendant Alloys and Exotics without ever leaving the tower. Heck, without ever taking a step. This next trick allows you to create tons of ignitions and stunlock bosses, but you'll have to watch this video to see how. Thank you all so much for watching, I'm Marshix, and I'll see you next time.